What's going on? It's go time. This is Border Mike with another Watcher of Realms video. Today I have something very special for you guys. I've been waiting for this video for uh, almost like two weeks now. So looking forward to do it. Uh, of course, daily sign in. I'm happy to have this and I've been wanting this little bugger right here. Literally, no pun, in no pun intended. The reason why I say I was looking forward to today because today is December 24th, which is Christmas Eve, but it also means that there was a pack that they were announcing that they were gonna make available, and it is finally available. This is the one I wanted to get. So, it's a Legendary Infernal pack. Oh, let's got some freebie stuff going on this morning. I grabbed this one too. I grabbed this one, I thought it was a pretty cool option. I'm actually probably gonna just pull those this morning just to pull them, you know, because Nothing wrong with a little extra stuff. It's like a whole bunch of extra packs. Freebies there. And a regular bundle, of course. I do love how much this stuff, how much stuff this free stuff this game gives you. I do love it. Um, speaking of that little suicide thing, but uh, not, I am probably gonna do a video on some good strategies for the offense and for the defense side of Guild Wars. Uh, Aside of a middle, beside a Mortal Codex, which I really enjoy, I really like the um, Guild Wars content, uh, mainly because it's something very different. And this is traditionally a tower defense game, so to make more tower defense type, um, you know, events in the game is always a plus for me. I've loved tower defense games, so once I knew that this was an option out there, I was all over it. It's a wrap. Grabbed it. Good. Wait, did I give you more? Oh, 17. Oh, I will also say. If you're not doing it right now, um, as we go into our shards and the pack, if you're not doing it right now, run as many as these um, guild raids and like these are uh, vault in the sands and stuff like this, because these are the main way. It's not here. It is here. These are the main way that you can get more of these Odyssey of the Dream tokens, and the rewards are actually really good. The day-to-day -day rewards are meh. The regular spin rewards are meh, but these are great. Once I finish this again, I get another legendary summoning crystal. That's just from doing regular farming, so don't sleep on that. You got one more day to get it done, and plus, you know, a five-star psychic power is good. And just another summoning crystal just because. So every time you finish this bad boy, you get another crystal, and then you get 30% of another legendary one. So just literally just raid. Just burn energy doing some of the gem raids. I'm oh, not gem raids, um, gear raids. And as you're doing it, it's a pretty good fast track to get you some of those legendary crystals. I should have mentioned that sooner for you guys, but if you're watching this video, it means you have time today. If you're watching this video today when I launched it, <laughs> but hey, make it work. Lucky ticket. This is like little freebies. Oh, two more. So we're going to pull those right now, and then we're going to open the pack. And they are reminding us that Gwendolyn is in this game. I was going to make content around the Gwendolyn champ. What do you guys think? You think I should make one? If I make it, I'm gonna make it today and send it out. Um, I think the champ is great. She's wonderful and also really good for the second part of a Mortal Codex, but I have some pretty good options already, so I'm not really considering doing um, that event with her. All right, last but not least, I forgot I can get these rewards too. So I am third chest. Wait, is it third chest? I'm on a pretty decent chest on number three, or Nightmare Three. And on the night before, I'm on the base chest, the 1400 chest. Because my champions are not dropping that second shield. <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> the train, ooh, I wanted that. And you know who that's going to. So, <laughs> you complain that they kept going to hollow. So I guess I gotta give them a few options today. Now, let us get to the Dagum summons. And unless there's one in here, nope. Grab, 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 grab. And I'm not worried about seven to eight refills. Let's get these summons going. All right. You know we're trying to get a Cetrum. I'm trying to get a Boreas. Boreas preferably, but I'll take whoever comes through the portal that has some yellow on them. I guess in that case, that'd be blue. But hey, let's see what we got. First one's going to be a rare Sheller. You know what confuses me about her? Sometimes she has a voice grip and sometimes she doesn't. It confuses me. <laughs> sometimes she comes up with something to say and sometimes she's just like just standing there. That is another rare. Let's skip it. Nobody came for rares. Mm, more rares. Oh, you're not even a rare. 
false claimer. Another rare. Nope. One more. That's rare. And last one. Epic. No, that's rare. No, it's epic. Yeah, I have a way of knowing. Apparently, it's flawed. One of the best healers in the game, especially one of the easiest ones to get, Vortex. You guys already know what he does. He also gives you shield on his ult. He has a wide range, but he's a single target healer. Still a good option to use, even in this game mode here. But make sure he has a little bit of defense because he feels really, for lack of a better term, squishy. So be mindful of that with him. Let me go ahead and renew this. All right, and done. All right. I don't think I had any legendary ones. I don't believe so. Almost confident I didn't. Nope, oh, zero of those. So I'm gonna finish a few more of those path runs today so I can get one more of the 10 shards out of 30 that will give me one more legendary summon crystal. So, ancient, we have one. Why not use it? Let's see if we get something decent. Or rare rebate. Rare rebate, that's 30 gems back in my account. That's the way I call it, that's the way I see it. All right. Last but not least, the moment we have been waiting for. I completely forgot the champs that come in this bundle. So, no, 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 gallery, gosh, I'm working on navigating. I'm playing on a tiny phone, y'all, so making it work. All right, the Infernals are right here. So, I don't believe I can get Soka Dents in this pack. I don't believe so. I would love it, but I don't believe you can get him because he's a lore. Oh, he's an exclusive Lord, um, like an ancient summon only Lord. I would love a Twin Fiend. Nocturne's not a bad idea. I have Zilly. I wouldn't mind getting a second one. I would love a Cetrum. I would love a Hex. Um, so I'm interested to see which one we pull today. Let us see. Or um, I don't think he comes in this pack. I hope he doesn't come in this pack. You can summon him from the other event anyway. Let's see who we got. This is it. Yep. Oh, wait a second. That's the automatic max level. I was hoping it was more than just the hero. So that's good. And 2000 gems. So I might even do a 10 pull after this. Just, you know, not a bad idea to do. All right, here we go. Let's see who we got. Oh. <laughs> it's go time. It's go time. Spectrum, I wanted this champion for so long. And also, you can get the mythical artifact in the event right now. I'm going to make sure that I get it. I think I have enough to get him to get it. This champion is insanely powerful for Guild War, insanely powerful for Arena, insanely powerful for the gold, for the energy, um, I mean, XP runs, insanely powerful for Guild War. I'm not, uh, Guild War, um, well, Guild War 2, but it's a little a little more predictable than Guild War. It's not as good in there. If you've got a tank in the way, he's just going to be shooting that tank all day. Um, he is amazing in so much content in this game. And then they just put an artifact that extends his ult. Gives him a little more cooldown, but I think as you upgrade that, that cooldown gets shorter and that extension gets longer. So, really glad to have this champion. Welcome to the team. It is go time. Do not break down on me anytime soon. I'm happy for that and luck points, which means I can pull another one of those things. But before that, as I said, let's do that 10 pool because we are here and we can't, we can't, you gotta do it right. You gotta do it right. Now, who else are we gonna get? Another epic in the game. Let's see what we got. That's a good feeling, y'all. I've been wanting session for a minute, a minute, a hot minute. Greed, the odds of pulling a greed. I think he's really hard to actually get more of. I believe mine is A5 already. I really enjoy this champion. Um, when he's A5, his special ability of like slowing them down or doing fire gets combined into one thing. When I tell you this is one of the best ways to work in um, the AOE defense where you have the giant crowds of enemies, he is one of the best in that game mode. Also, I think it is it's not sustained defense. I think it is sustained defense. No, no, no. It's just the AOE one, of the ones, one I want to talk about. He is amazing because at the area of the arena, is there a quick way I can show that? I don't think there's a quick way I can show that without just losing the match, is there? Um, but in the area of the arena, let's say you're on the left side. You have a little grid that goes around this way here. On the bottom portion, I put him on the bottom tile, um, up the most and closest to the portal. So in that little four nugget that's on the bottom, I put him on the up area closest to the portal. And 
anytime and anytime enemies come through, he just automatically slows them right there. And then the AOE mission is great because they're all bunched up. If you have a champion like a Comet or like a Vierna or just another heavy damage dealing mage, mages in particular do well here. Or if you pull Kai last time instead of pulling Vierna, I gotta put video on Kai. My guy's been showing up real nice in the arena. I use him in that same team I was just talking about. He is marvelous. But I'm gonna show you guys more of that stuff as we get to it. I hope that you guys enjoy your day. Yeah, you let me know it's time to go buy more things. I get it, watch your realms. <laughs> um, oh, gold dragon. Okay, so that's free gold. I mean, it's not free, but that's extra gold there. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste any more of you guys' time. I'm going into the, wait a second, I will go into the gallery though. Oh, and don't forget about this. This little benefit that comes into the game. Do I have it on focus? Okay, good. This little benefit that comes into the game, these little extra bonuses, tap them. That's such a small thing that you forget. It's extra bonuses and that goes on everybody in that faction. And it's just the tiny things that add up. And before you know it, it helps you get a little bit more BP, helps you get a little bit more abilities. You can go higher in Tide, which I do not believe I'm high enough for right now. No, not right now, but I can grab those though. And my Tide 115 video is coming along well. Um, I just wanted to put that together for you guys. And like I said, there's more tips in there than just the basic ones, but I could not give you guys the audio. It was, it was not, it's not healthy for the ears. It's not at all. Oh, well, look at that. Add a little more there. There you go. So yeah, oh wait, and can do another one. So I'll do another one. And these, I believe they add up to your BP. If I'm not mistaken, I should take, a, take note if it was higher or not. But it's just little small increments that actually add up to your BP. I cover all of that in the other video. But you guys have an awesome time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Once again, this is Mortal Mike and have an awesome day. Take care. See you guys in the next one.